um, technician exam workflow is what I called it here. So we're going to go over uh, kind of walking through um, what happens when your patient comes in. We're going to check them in and uh, we're going to go ahead and start an exam and do uh, what we call pre-testing or what a technician would do with your patient and then um, how the doctor is able to then pull up that exam that the technician already started to finish that exam. So um, just bear with me here. I'm going to go over to my, my Vision Express. And we're here on the uh, home page. And what I'm going to do is go into our calendar here. So we're here in our calendar, and I don't have any patients scheduled for today, so I'm just going to go ahead and do a, uh, an example here um, in Ben Franklin's um, appointment. So we'll go ahead and schedule uh, the patient here at 11.30 today. I'm going to use one of my existing patients, Charles Darwin. And we'll go ahead and schedule that. And I'm just going to change this here to, let's say, an existing. And I'll say yes to this. So our patient is scheduled there. When your patient comes into the office, from within that same calendar appointment that was already scheduled, you can go ahead and check them in. So you'll see that under the status section, you have that radio button of check-in, which will then um, also update their show status to show. So I will do that from right here, and I check my patient in, and I'll say OK. Now, you can also do that if you right-click and you go to the status here. You can check them in from here. Um, you can also do that from within the patient tracker. So I'm going to uh, also talk to you a little bit about the patient tracker. So I'm going to click on patient tracker there at the top in the calendar. Um, also, if you're here, patient tracker also is available here. Just going to make this a little bigger for you guys to see. So there is a patient that I checked in uh, from within the calendar. You can check them in from within the patient tracker. It's just a matter of um, what you guys uh, like and um, what fits your workflow in your office. So um, I, I've talked to practices before where they um, like to check in their patient from within the patient tracker. So that is definitely something that you can do from in here. Okay, I did it from within the calendar. Um, from within the patient tracker, you can also uh, find the exam button down here at the bottom. And uh, this is one of the ways that you can start an exam. And I'm just going to go back here into um, my calendar and you can definitely start an exam as well from inside this patient window, appointment window, I should say. Uh, you're going to see an exam button here that is also a shortcut to start the exam. Okay, so there's a few places or a few ways that you can basically do the same thing. Um, in our example today, I'm going to minimize this. I showed you where it was in the tracker right here. Um, also, inside of that patient's profile, you'll be able to find an exam button. So actually, there's a shortcut here to the patient's profile for Charles Darwin. And another way that you can start that exam, if you're inside of the patient profile under history, you're going to find exam. And you'll see all of the previous exams that this patient has had. And if you select on add, this is going to start an exam from here. So I've shown you three ways so far um, that you can start an exam from. Okay. For our example today, I'm actually going to start my exam from within the tracker here by clicking on exam down at the bottom. Okay, this is going to um, start my exam. So I'm going to act as the technician or as the person that does your pre-testing and um, start the exam for my doctor. Um, it's going to ask me to select the exam template here so you can see what I have set up. So I'm just going to go ahead and say uh, existing patient comprehensive exam and I'm going to select that one and give me just one moment here.
<coughs> Sorry, guys, give me just one moment here. All right, sorry about that, guys. Let's try this again. I'm just gonna go ahead and select that template. And here's our exam. So I have my patient and I'm gonna go ahead and perform the pre-testing. Uh, the first place that I'm gonna go under is going to be under my health tab. Um, you can do this from within the patient's profile or you can do this here in the exam. So if you need to um, put in what medications the patient is taking, um, or for example, if they have any allergies, what problems the patient is coming in with, um, their family history, you can put that in here. So uh, you're also going to see that that health tab, and I'm just going to shortcut it here to the patient profile just to show you that this tab is also available inside of the uh, profile. So you're going to see health here, and it is shared in the exam. Okay. So you can put in those medications, allergies, problems, family history, for example. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you how to add one. So I'm going to say he came back to the office today. And in addition to what we already have here, he's also taking, let's say, Tylenol, for example. I'm going to go ahead and say add. I'm going to have two windows that are going to open up here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm going to type in uh, Tylenol as our example. Oops. Okay. And I'm just going to say this allergy sinus, which is probably what I should be taking right now. But <laughs> So we'll go ahead and um, put in that this is an outside medication that the patient is taking. It's also something over the counter. And we'll go ahead and say done, and it adds it to the list here. So we added um, medications, um, also any allergies. What we're going to say, patient doesn't report any new allergies, so we're going to skip that. We'll go into problems, and uh, we'll just add a, a problem here just to show uh, for our example 
we're going to say that the patient is coming in and they are uh, saying that they're uh, diabetic, for example. So I'll just choose uh, diabetes here. And that adds that on to our problem list. Also, if you need to take any vitals for your patient, you can go ahead and add that information here. So you're going to see previous vitals that were taken and um, today's new vitals. So I can go ahead and uh, put that information in here. and I'll scroll this over to the right. This is going to go ahead and calculate my BMI. Under family history, I can go ahead and add any additional family history. He's not reporting anything else, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave this as is. Now, um, I'm going to start pre-testing. So I just, I'm going to do a few examples here. Um, if for some reason, maybe I don't uh, go over something that you do in pre-testing, you can go ahead and type it out in the questions um, and I can show you where to enter that. But I think I'm pretty, I'm pretty gonna, I'm pretty much gonna go over uh, everything that's probably done in pre-testing. So the first place that I'm gonna go into is going to be um, the refractive tab and that is where I'm gonna put in my presenting prescription or my auto uh, uh, lensometer um, findings. Um, so presenting our lens lensometer, uh, here under the refractive, I'm going to select add. And under the Rx type, I'm going to say, uh, for example, presenting. Um, now, if they are presenting with the final prescription that was done on your last visit, so let's go here under history. Let's say the last time Charles Darwin was here, this is the prescription that we finalized for him. And this is the prescription that he is currently presenting with. He's still currently wearing these glasses. So what I can do is I can simply copy this, okay? And if I go to today, you're gonna notice that that is now under today's date. And I'm gonna change this here from final to presenting. And let me delete this one. <clears throat> so you can easily just copy from the history so I copied this final prescription. That is actually what he is currently presenting, or what he's currently wearing today. So I copied that over, and that is copied to today's date as my presenting. I made that change here under the Rx type and said that that was what he was presenting with. In addition to presenting, you can go ahead and um, put in any auto refractor um, information that was done. So I'm going to go ahead and use the copy option here and copy this over and I'm going to change this and say the auto refractor and I'm going to put in what the auto refractor uh, readings were. So I'm just going to make a little change here just to make it different. So I put in my presenting and I put in my auto refractor. Now, in addition to those, I'm going to put in the IOP. So I can do that if I go in the entrance tab. Down at the bottom, I'm going to find a section for IOP. So I'm going to select Add. It's going to give me today's date and time. And I'm either going to select from the drop down, or I can simply type into that field. Okay. The IOP test application is already selected for me because of it's defaulted in the template that I selected. But if you need to make any changes, you can. There's also a category and a section for any notes that your tech may need to leave you. The IOP is also something that you will find in the external tab. It's going to reflect down here at the bottom. So your technician um, will probably more or less be going and entering that in the entrance tab down at the bottom, but I just always like to show that it also reflects into the external, okay? So now that we're already here in the entrance and we've entered our IOP, you're also going to find your section for your color vision. Um, again, my template is already defaulted, but I'm just going to go into those drop downs. That way you can see that that information can be entered here. You're also going to have a section for your stereopsis. So you have the distance. These are drop downs again, the near, 
and the test that was done. If your technician takes a pupillary distance for your patient, they can go ahead and enter that into this section here as well. So under entrance, you're going to find a few things. Okay, and you can in either enter a, a binocular or a monocular PD into this section. The PD section is also going to reflect in the refractive. All right. So we did our refractive, we entered in our presenting, our uh, autorefractor. Uh, under entrance, we put in our IOP, we put in our color vision, we put in our stereopsis, and we put in a pupillary distance. Now, any additional testing, for example, a visual field or a fundus photo, you can go under test. This is where you're going to add those. So I'm going to do an example here. I'm going to select add. I'm going to select the type of test that I am doing from my list. So I'm just going to say a fundus photo here. I'm going to select the instrument or the test. My list is blank, so um, if you don't have any of that set up, you can always free type into the field. Select the eye. Select the reason for the test. Again, these are already set up, but if you don't like what is in that um, category or that drop down, those options that are available, you can always add on or just free type whatever you need into that section. My box for ordered is already selected, is already checked off for me, and it's going to have my doctor's initials here. Here's the one that ordered for this to be done. If I am the one that tested and I perform this test or I perform this photo, I'm going to check off this box here and I'm going to change this initials and I'm going to put my initials there. There's a section for uh, pharmaceuticals, if any pharmaceuticals were used, um, and patient cooperation. So I'm just going to put in my patient cooperation and I'm going to leave this as that. Again, there is a section for any notes. So any notes you may need to leave the doctor about the test that was done, you can leave them here. And I'm going to say add another. Add another, it's going to open up the same window blank and save the um, photo that I just did. And now I'm going to put in a visual field. So notice that there's a few options here on this list. I'll select my reason for test. Ordered is going to be checked off. I'm going to put in that I tested that. So I'll just put in my initials there. And any additional information that I may need to let my doctor know about. So we did two examples there, a visual field and a photo. Let me see. I have a question here on the entrance tab. Is the presenting RX the only one shown? So I'm going to go back here to the entrance tab. And yes, the presenting prescription is going to be the only one that is shown, and you're going to see that over here on the right-hand side. Okay. Now, I'm going to go over to the top section of this exam, and I'm done pre-testing my patient, so they're ready for the doctor to come in. I'm going to say that I did that screening, and I will select my name here from this drop-down. And again, this is a, just a test database. So you're really not going to find my name here. Um, so I'm just going to use Vision Express. Okay? But very important, we want to check off this box and your technician to select their name from this drop-down. This comes from um, what you have set up. Uh, so all of your employees should uh, show up on that list there. Okay, so I screened the patient. We'll select the name here. We're going to go ahead and save and close this. And then um, the next step would be for the doctor to finish this exam. So how does the doctor um, find that exam that we already started for them? 
Um, they can do that inside of the patient's profile. And I just want to uh, go in here really quick and show you that um, it's going to be under the history of exams. They'll find today's exam that was already started. You can easily just double click here on this line and that is going to open up the exam for you. Um, I'm not going to do it from there. Another place that you can do that is right up here using that exam um, icon at the top. Any exams that were done today are going to show up here under uh, the history so I can easily see that uh, this is the exam that we started for Charles Darwin and I'm going to go ahead and select that one and it will open up that exam for me. So we're going to be right back uh, here to the exam. Okay. So now um, the doctor is going to take a look and start their exam. So here under the summary, we have today's day. Um, this information is already uh, coming in for me, especially because I defaulted some of it in the template. So it's already there. Um, below that section, you're going to find a summary of appointments, a summary of tests that have been done. So I can see the two tests that were already done here today without me having to go into the test tab. So just at a glance, I can see that my technician did do the visual field and the fundus photo. Also, she took an IOP. You're going to see the history of IOP here. Also, the dilation. Well, none has been done just yet. So we're not going to find one for today. Under problems, you'll see today's problem that was added. Also, any injuries that were reported. Uh, you're going to see under the refractive section, the summary of what was done there. So I have <clears throat> that information reflecting in here as well, any contact lens history, any allergies, medications. I'm going to say all. Here's a medication that we added today. Uh, ocular surgery, family history. Visual acuities, you're going to see aided and unaided. So this here, this section here, is just a summary or an at a glance of um, what has been done in today's exam so far and previous exams for this patient. And as you can see over here on the left, um, Charles Darwin has had a few exams done before with us, so um, he has quite a, a history here. So we'll go under complaint. I'm going to go ahead and put in the reason for today's complaint. And I'm just going to go over this briefly. If you um, are looking at this for the first time and you're not too familiar with how the exam um, functions, like how to do things inside of the exam module, I recommend that you attend um, one of our webinars for the exam module and uh, we go over detail of all of these sections that I'm doing right now. All right, I'm going to go under health, and I'm just going to review the medications that my technician put in. I can see, okay, my technician added, added the Tylenol allergy. I'm going to go down here to the history and say that I reviewed that. Under allergies, nothing has changed. <clears throat> I'm going to say that I reviewed it. Under problems, that diabetes was added and it's reviewed. Under the vitals, I can see the vitals that were put in for today. PFSH. Now, I didn't go over this um, for the technician because a lot of the times the doctor is the one that does the PFSH. So I'm going to go ahead and do it now. And just make sure that this box is checked off that you reviewed that PFSH. Under family. I see that um, everything has changed, uh, nothing has changed, everything stayed the same. So I'm going to say that I reviewed that. I'll go into review of systems. Um, everything here is negative. It's defaulted already from my template. So I'm just going to say that I reviewed that. The patient isn't reporting anything. Just to let you know, if your patient is reporting something, there is drop downs here for you to select from or multi pick list. In the entrance, I'm going to see um, what was done already. I can see the presenting over here. That's coming from the refractive tab. I can see that my tech did the color vision. It was normal, the stereopsis, the PD. And I can see the um, pressures that were reported here. 
and also any notes that my tech left me. You do have your section here in addition to what we covered already, your unaided acuities, your aided acuities for glasses or contacts, your visual acuity notes. The blood pressure is also going to reflect here your confrontation visual field, pupils, EOM, cover test, and MPC, and the psychiatric. So I'm going to go ahead and just fill this one out here. Under refractive, I can see what my technician put in under presenting an auto refractor, and I can go from there. So, um, I can use the copy shortcut and copy that same um, autorefractor again and maybe change this and say uh, subjective or objective. So depending on what your workflow is, uh, you can make your changes. Uh, you can also use the copy forward button here. The copy forward button will uh, copy forward based on what you have it set up. This is uh, set up under file setup categories is called refract refractive type. I'm just going to show you really quick here that my presenting is copying to auto refractor. My auto refractor is copying to objective, objective, I'm copying to subjective and subjective I'm copying to manifest and then final. So what that means is that when I am inside of the exam, and I use the copy forward option, it's going to copy forward in that order. So this just makes things a little easier for me to put in the information I need under the refractive. Again, I didn't make any changes here, but if you need to make any changes to that uh, prescription in that particular um, refraction type, you can make any changes you may need. That final prescription, we're going to go ahead and transfer to patient RX. And I'm going to keep it available. I'm not going to discontinue the other one. So I transferred that over. Under the external, I'm going to review um, what is there. Again, under external, I already have everything defaulted to normal. Um, my IOP is going to be found down at the bottom. There is no injuries being reported, so I don't have to use the injury build, builder today. Um, under internal, again, I have everything defaulted to normal as well as the exam method that I'm using. Um, and the injury builder also shows up here, but I'm not going to use it. There's no injuries that Charles Darwin is reporting today. I'm going to go back to external really quick just to let you guys know there is a drawing feature in here. So I'll click on drawing there and it's going to open up for me and um, you can, uh, there's a nice pen in here. Give me just one second. That opened up back here somewhere. Give me one moment. All right. So there is my drawing. And you can use the little pen here and make any drawings that you may need. Um, what's nice about the drawing feature is that if you get a little carried away, like sometimes I get a little carried away here, um, there's an undo button and there's a redo button. So I just like to touch base here. Um, there's also some stamps over here that you can use if you like. So let's say dry sandy feeling, I'm going to double click on that and double click where I want that stamp. So you can use stamps there, there's shapes, there's text that you can put in. And you can uh, always change the color and change the font. So that is your drawing feature in the external. You're also going to find a drawing feature in the internal. Okay, same functionality. Under test, I'm going to see the two tests that were done here today. So we'll start off with that uh, photo. I'm going to go ahead and double click on that photo. That way it can open up that section for me again. I can see what um, my tech put in, and I can say that I reviewed it. It's going to put in the initials of the doctor, 
you can put in uh, your reliability here and I'm just going to put that in. And I'm going to say that the reliability was good for the OD and the OS. So I can use this arrow here to copy that over into the OS for me. Same with the stability. Okay, you have a list to select from. Again, if you uh, want to add to this list, wherever you see add new value, you can always add to those categories. Any diagnosis, you may want to diagnose from here. You can. Your findings. This is a drop down again that you can select from, or you can um, just free type into the field. And this arrow here, we'll copy that over to the left side. Your plan. Or you can use a drop down to select. And then your notes. I'm done with that one. I'm going to go and check on the visual field. Again, I'm going to double click. Select my reviewed box. My initials will go there. There's a list here. Or you can use the multi pick list to select more than one. Down at the bottom, um, in addition to the tests that were done, you can add any additional procedures that you did for your patient. So uh, for example, maybe you did a punctal plug or you did a, a foreign body removal. Um, you can do that down here under procedure. So I'm just gonna kind of make one up here for our example today. And from here, you can also uh, go ahead and give a diagnosis. Now, when you give a diagnosis from within this test tab, it's going to ask you if you want to add that diagnosis. If you say yes, once you're here under assessment, you're going to see that that diagnosis has added for you automatically. So I can also do that with any test. So I'm going to go back here to the photo and I'm going to um, put in a diagnosis here. That way you guys can see. Um, let's see. I'm just going to pick one here. So it's going to ask me if I want to add that diagnosis code. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to select a snowman. And when I go into the assessment, it's going to have added those diagnoses for me automatically. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and finish the exam here. I'm going to use the available button to um, find any additional um, diagnosis that I may need to add. And then down at the bottom, I'm going to uh, go ahead and add my procedures down here. So I'm going to click on procedures. And I've added that. My exam recall reason is already defaulted because I have that defaulted in my template. Um, any additional follow-up recall reasons? Well, I don't need to see them until next year again. Um, so my return to office is going to be in one year. And from here, I'm going to use my Rx pad or my e-prescribe to prescribe any medications you may need to uh, for your patient. Um, not going to um, prescribe anything. They're perfectly fine. I'm going to go ahead and sign this, that I finished this exam for this patient. And I'm ready to take my next patient. So um, I went over... The workflow for the technician and I went over briefly um, a quick exam here that we kind of made up for Charles Darwin so um, along the way I did have uh, questions that I answered I don't know if there's any additional questions if you guys want to go ahead and type those in in the question section now and then we'll go over them
So if you have any questions, we're at the end of our webinar. I brought up the slide. I want to thank you again for today's time. I want to wish you guys all a happy new year. Um, if you want to take a look at any additional videos or articles that we have available, you can always find them on our support website. And that is uh, support.myvisionexpress.com. And um, also, if you need to contact support, that number and that email is down there at the bottom of your screen. Um, so I'll wait a few minutes. If you guys have any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer. Wow. <laughs>